Crime is sexy. The gruesome death of Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. Steve Irwin, better known as the crocodile hunter, was a well-known wildlife expert and TV personality from Australia who was loved and admired by fans all over the world. In this video, we'll go into a deep dive and find out what happened and who was the crocodile hunter. Hit that subscribe button for more cool videos. Now, let's jump right in. He was a zookeeper, environmentalist, and a strong advocate for nature conservation. Steve grew up around animals, including crocodiles, and was not afraid to interact with these dangerous creatures. He had a passion for wildlife, and he passed this down to his daughter Bindi, who he hoped would continue his legacy through a wildlife show on the Discovery Kids channel. One day, while on a research boat with his cameraman Justin Lyons, Steve decided to film some footage for Bindi's show. They'd planned to film a tiger shark, but couldn't find one, so they decided to film a stingray instead. The stingray was a beautiful creature, approximately six and a half feet from the rear, and they were just about to finish filming when tragedy struck. The stingray became agitated and started stabbing wildly, injuring Steve in the chest. Justin, who was filming the whole incident, could see a two-inch wide injury over Steve's heart with blood and fluid coming out. The rest of the team threw Steve back into the inflatable boat and sped to the main boat, where Justin and the others tried to perform CPR. Despite their efforts, Steve was declared dead by the paramedics when they arrived. The footage of the incident has never been released to the public and it's unlikely that it ever will be. Steve's sudden death was a shock to his family, friends, and fans around the world. His wife Terry and their two kids, Bindi and Rob, were on a trip to Tasmania when they received the news. They were surprised to see media waiting for them when they arrived home at Australia's zoo, but there were also flowers from people who mourned Steve's passing. Stephen Irwin was a man who had been hurt before, but he had a rule for his cameramen that they had to film everything no matter what happened. This rule was put to the test when a stingray started attacking him while they were filming. The camera kept rolling as the stingray swam away, leaving Steve standing in a huge pool of blood. The story that was released in the days following the attack was that Stephen had pulled the barb out of his chest. But Justin Lyons, who was there recording everything, said that it was much worse than that. Steve knew he was in trouble and started screaming. It punctured my lung. However, that wasn't the truth. The truth was much, much worse. Justin started performing CPR on Steve and all the medical efforts were captured on film. As soon as the paramedics arrived, they only needed about 10 seconds to determine that Steve was dead. Even if the crew had been able to get him to a hospital, he wouldn't have survived the damage to his heart, which was massive. The footage of the accident has never been released to the public and most likely never will be. Just like that, in a matter of seconds, the beloved Steve Irwin passed away, doing what he loved most, interacting with animals. Terry was called by the zoo manager and had to fight the incredible sadness she was feeling and gather her strength to share the news with her children when they arrived home at Australia's zoo. They were surprised to see the media waiting for them. Terry never remarried and considered Steve to be her soulmate. Instead, she and her children took over Australia's zoo and continued Steve's life work. Both Bindi and Robert are zookeepers and dedicated conservationists trying to make their dad proud every day. The world will always remember Steve Irwin not only as a funny and goofy showman, but as a conservationist and wildlife lover who used unusual methods to spread awareness and educate the public on the importance of nature. He will be remembered for his passion for wildlife and his dedication to conserving the Earth's precious species. Despite his untimely passing, his legacy lives on through his family and his work, inspiring future generations to follow in his footsteps and protect the planet's wildlife. Steve Irwin will always be remembered as a unique and dynamic figure in the world of wildlife conservation. His effervescent personality and humorous antics made him a beloved loved television personality, but it was his unwavering commitment to the protection of wildlife and the natural world that truly set him apart. Throughout his life, Steve used unconventional methods to educate the public about the importance of conservation and the need to preserve the Earth's precious species. As a child, Steve was already fascinated by the world of wildlife. He grew up on a wildlife park in Queensland, Australia, where his parents ran a small zoo. Steve quickly developed a love for all creatures big and small and spent most of his childhood 
childhood surrounded by animals. He learned about their behaviors, their habitats, and their needs, and became passionate about protecting them from harm. When Steve was just 22 years old, he started his own wildlife park, the Australia Zoo. He wanted to create a place where people could learn about the wonders of the natural world and get up close and personal with the animals. Steve's infectious enthusiasm and charisma quickly made him a hit with audiences, and he soon became one of the most recognizable figures in the world of wildlife conservation. Despite his success, Steve never lost sight of his ultimate goal, to educate people about the importance of conservation. He spent much of his time traveling the world, visiting remote locations, and meeting with indigenous communities to learn about their relationship with the environment. Through his travels, Steve saw firsthand the devastating impact that humans were having on the world's wildlife, and he became more determined than ever to spread the message of conservation. Steve was relentless in his efforts to raise awareness about the need to protect wildlife and the natural world. He was not afraid to use unconventional methods to get his message across, whether it was swimming with crocodiles, handling venomous snakes, or facing off against angry elephants. Steve was always willing to put himself in harm's way to educate people about the dangers facing wildlife. Steve Irwin will always be remembered as a true champion of wildlife conservation. He was a man of great passion, dedication, and humor who used his unique abilities to educate the public about the importance of nature. His legacy will continue to inspire future generations to follow in his footsteps and to protect the planet's precious species. Steve was a visionary in the world of wildlife conservation, a man who saw the value of nature and the importance of protecting it for future generations. He was a true hero, whose life and work will always be remembered as an inspiration to us all. Whether we're laughing at his antics, marveling at his courage, or simply admiring his love for animals, Steve's spirit will continue to live on, a shining example of what it means to be a true conservationist. Steve's legacy continues to live on through his family who carry on his passion for wildlife and nature conservation. Steve's death serves as a reminder of the dangers that come with interacting with wild animals and of the importance of respecting nature and its creatures. Steve will always be remembered as the crocodile hunter who lived to the fullest and died doing what he loved most, interacting with animals.